welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mo today's video is going to be a Walgreens haul let's go ahead and jump straight into it so to make a long story short I went to Harold's Chicken y'all and I went into Walgreens just to kill some time because you know they make your food fresh to order at Harold's and um I came out with all this y'all and why this guy you know they have a bag tax here but why he put all this stuff in one bag I will pay another seven cent, okay? Just give me a second bag, but whatever. I wanna show y'all all this stuff I picked up and I'll just be doing the most sometimes. But <clears throat> I mean, you can argue that I need a lot of it, so yeah. All right, if you're natural, then you know the importance of coconut oil or, you know, a lot of us naturals love coconut oil. Oh, that's a text message coming through, trying to get me to buy some more stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just ridiculous. So I got this Viva Coco coconut oil. I bought this before and I dropped the jar and it was a hot mess. Like it shattered, it was just bad. So I picked up more because I want to start putting some more in my spray bottle. You know, just using it all the time on my hair, putting some more in my spray bottle with my water and stuff. So I picked up this jar and I also picked up some um, Soap and Glory stuff. Let me show y'all everything from Soap and Glory. Okay, I picked up this Puffy Eye Attack Triple Action Jelly Eye Makeup Remover because I use makeup wipes and I want to stop. And um, I love how my, my cellar water gets, you know, my eye makeup off because you all know I love colorful eyeshadow. Not, I just did this because I had to run to the store. So I, had, I was like, let me be simple, quick, and basic. But I love like really heavy eye makeup and stuff. So I wanted to try this just to see if it's going to be good or not and um i'll let y'all know what i think i also picked up this clean on me creamy moisture shower gel by soap and glory which y'all know i love this right here is this the one i love yeah i love this right here um holy grail and i'm out and i'm running out of body wash i'm running out of a lot of stuff so i run out of everything at the same time it feels like so i'm so glad i picked this up and i'm filming this video because i need to start using my body wash i also am planning to do an empties video so let me know what y'all think you know um if you've never watched an empties video it's just where i go through this huge bag of empty containers that i have like i've been accumulating and i just tell you all what i think about the product and if i'm planning to purchase it or repurchase it in the future so let me know what y'all think about that because i'm planning to film that video um i picked up this righteous body butter lotion and i don't know if i should maybe i should have used my ring light i love natural light but i picked this up this smells so good y'all it smells so good and i'm just pumped that i have this and i need lotion too i'm running out of lotion it's just it's crazy over here I also picked up this Soap and Glory Multitasking Body Bar. I don't know why I bought this. Nourishing and smoothing. Maybe that's why I bought it. But I tend to stick to Dove when it comes to soaps or these soaps that I purchased from made by RJ Cosmetics. But I'm going to just try it and let y'all know what I think. It says it has shea butter. That's all the Soap and Glory products. I also picked up one makeup product, which is this Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Quad in Bed of Roses. I picked this up because it's so pretty. And yeah, I need more mauve colors like this, like just like these types of burgundies and stuff. I mean, no, I don't. I don't need it, but I wanted it, so I bought it. But it ain't like I need it. Oh, I also picked up this Soap and Glory Mist You Madly Fragrance Spritz, y'all. There's one I used to buy and it smells so good. And maybe I thought, mm, I don't know. I'm just trying to see what it's hitting for. It's okay. I may give this away or sell this in my closet on my site. Y'all know I have a portion of my website where I sell stuff, I may sell that in there because I don't think I'm gonna use it. It just smells, it smells like, I don't know. It's just underwhelming. So let me show y'all some hair products, some other hair products I picked up. I know I showed y'all the coconut oil, but I picked up this As I Am Restore and Repair. <laughs> Hold on, boo. 
Y'all just be. Okay, as I am, Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. I don't know why I bought this. Like, oh, I think I bought this because y'all know I've been wearing these wigs and stuff, trying to protect, what is happening? Okay, trying to protect my hair and my hair has been thriving during quarantine. So, and I'm still quarantining, although I'm fully vaccinated because I ain't got time to be getting sick. So, um, I bought this to like, where I can like, like easily spray it on my hair. Sorry, I'm like, 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 Dang, Monet. So, I bought this As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Water. And I bought this because, you know, first I can't remember why I picked this up. I'm like, I just be buying stuff. But I bought this to like spray on my flat twists and stuff when I am wearing wigs and stuff. And I could just spray this on my hair before putting the wig on in the morning before work and stuff and help to keep my hair moisturized, you know? So that's why I picked this up and it's a huge bottle and I need a huge bottle cause I got a whole lot of hair. Also, um, I picked up this As I Am Dry and Itchy Scalp Care, Olive Oil and Tea Tree Oil Dandruff Shampoo. I picked this up not because I really have an issue with dandruff, but I like for my head to be squeaky clean. My scalp, I like that squeaky, squeaky clean feeling and normally i use the paul mitchell tea tree special shampoo i just picked up a new bottle so i really don't need this Let's receive that. i might take this back y'all i bought this too long ago they ain't gonna take it back but if it was sooner or not that long ago you know i would just return it because i don't think i need it now i was planning on not buying the paul mitchell one because it's like 35 dollars or 37 it was 37 at ulta at the time and i was like i'm not paying that but i bought it i paid it <laughs> i picked up two other hair care products i picked up this african pride they're both from african pride okay the moisture miracle shea butter and flaxseed oil moisturize and define curling cream and I also grabbed the coconut oil and baobab, I don't know how to pronounce that, I never do, oil, hydrate and strengthen leave-in cream. And I got these because I needed more because I'm running out and I just bought some more from Ulta. I'm gonna do an Ulta haul. But I'll fly through this stuff because I have so much hair. So I picked these up, they were only $5 I wanna say. And I'm so glad I grabbed them because they're super big jars and I need these. And like I said, I fly through that stuff. The last thing I grabbed is this French, French lavender luxury hand soap. This matches my bathroom. That's one of the main reasons I got it. And also I fly through hand soap. So I went ahead and picked this up while I was standing in line waiting and it was just like right there. So I just grabbed one. So, and it was really cheap. It was like three or $4. The last thing I picked up I almost forgot about this is this can candle vanilla berry peony um creamy vanilla orange and i don't even know how to pronounce that and i'm not about to butcher it but y'all it smells so good and it's so pretty it matches my uh main bathroom so i plan to put it in there on the counter because i have a cap i always have a candle scenting candle scenting in there i need to drink some water or something this is crazy I always have a candle sitting in my in my bathrooms and you know I burn it and stuff and this smells heavenly so I picked this up and this was a little it was like $14 or something but it's huge look at how big it is and it's very pretty so I'm glad I grabbed it y'all that concludes this video thank y'all so much for tuning in please don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what type of content y'all want to see in the comments please I noticed that some of my haul videos, clothing haul, like my Grassfields haul, my Shane Justin haul, which y'all, I ain't shopping Shane for a minute. I just can't do it for a whole host of reasons. Let me know if y'all want me to film a video. It'll be kind of messy, but I can tell y'all the truth about why I have not spent another dime with him. Love him, but can't do it. But anyway, I don't want to go negative, okay? Let's end on a positive note. Stay tuned for additional videos coming up. Um, I'm preparing to go to Africa, so I will be doing some content related to that trip. And let me know what else you all want to see. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Bye.